have the verb in English language. How many forms does it have? As regards the difference in between have and has, what's the point of distinction in between the two? The next point, what's the overall role or use of have in English language? Hello friends, welcome to our channel We Learn Language. In today's class, I am going to explain all these points one by one for your proper understanding. So, it's good to stay connected till the end of the video and if you have any doubts or queries afterwards, you can clear the same through the comment section or the links given in the description of the channel. Let's recall here that there are three auxiliary verbs in English, be, have and do. Since we have already covered the first one, be, our today's concern is this one, have. And we are going to study its overall role in English language. Our first point, its forms. Like an ordinary verb, it also has its four forms. V1, V2, V3 and V4. V1, verbs first form, V2 second form, V3 third and V4 ing form. V1 here refers to present form, V2 past, V3 past participle and V4 ing form again. And the forms run like have, had, had and having. Has, had, had and having. The next point, the point of distinction in between have and has. I have already cleared in my previous classes that has is just the singular version of have. That is, it's used for present tense with the subject third person singular and with the rest of the subjects have is used. Let's understand it by some examples. He has a pen, correct? But we can't say he have a pen. That's incorrect. Similarly, they have a pen, correct? But we can't say they has a pen. That's incorrect. We are well aware of the fact that there are three persons in English, first, second and third. And all of them have two aspects each, singular and plural. For this, you can refer to my videos titled first person, second person and third person that you can find in the playlist English grammar on the channel that you can refer to for the revision purposes. Now the next point, its overall role or use in English language. In fact, it's very interesting to bear in mind that it plays multiple roles in the language. That is, at times it's used as auxiliary as well as main verb in the sentences. As for the requirements of different tense rules, passive as, negative and interrogative constructions. This area is that of the traditional uses. And then what about the extraordinary uses? This one. That is, it's also used to denote obligation as well as in order to avoid repetition of the main verb in the sentences. For convenience purpose, we have divided our approach into two parts. Part 1 and part 2. Under part 1, we are going to take up today its role as auxiliary verb with respect to the traditional uses. In the next class, its role as main verb with respect to the traditional uses. In addition, we will also check its role for the sake of the extraordinary uses. Now, first point. Tenses. Have. Have is used for the sake of present perfect, present perfect continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous tenses. Examples Present perfect They have written a letter. They haven't written a letter. Have they written a letter? Haven't they written a letter? These sentences are affirmative, negative, interrogative and interrogative negative constructions respectively. The next one He has written a letter. He hasn't written a letter. Has he written a letter? Hasn't he written a letter? The next one, present perfect continuous. Examples, they have been writing a letter for two hours. They haven't been writing a letter for two hours. Have they been writing a letter for two hours? Haven't they been writing a letter for two hours? The next one, future perfect. They will have written a letter. They won't have written a letter. Will they have written a letter? Won't they have written a letter? The next one, 
future perfect continuous. They will have been writing a letter for four days next Monday. They won't have been writing a letter for four days next Monday. Will they have been writing a letter for four days next Monday? Won't they have been writing a letter for four days next Monday? The next one, had, B2, second form of verb had, used as auxiliary for the sake of past perfect and past perfect continuous tenses. Examples, past perfect, they had written a letter. Past perfect continuous, they had been writing a letter for two hours. In addition, had is also used to form conditional sentences. Example, had he been there, it won't have happened. The next one, passive voice. Have. Have is used to form passive of present perfect and future perfect tenses. Examples, the letters have been written by them or a letter has been written by them. Future perfect, the letters will have been written by them or a letter will have been written by them. The next, had, auxiliary for passive voice, as for past perfect tense. The letters had been written by them, or a letter had been written by them. Now, negative and interrogative constructions. The examples which we have used here cover these aspects too. This way, we have seen the overall use of verb have as auxiliary verb for the sake of the traditional uses. Hope you understand by now. If you have any doubts or queries, please use the comment section. In the next class, we are going to take up part 2 of the topic, that is, its role as main verb with respect to the traditional uses. In addition, we will also check its role for the sake of the extraordinary uses. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it, do subscribe to the channel as well as press the bell icon for regular updates. Friends, here I would like to share a very interesting thing with you that is we are having another YouTube channel also that is we learn flute, we for victory, it's a flute channel. I keep uploading my flute videos over there that you can visit and if you feel like you can subscribe to that also. Stay connected. Stay safe. Bye-bye.